All right, class, uh, welcome back. This is uh, 1.7, and uh, this is all about uh, equations. So don't forget to write your name and today's date. Okay, so um, equations are uh, just sort of a natural extension from expressions, which we've already been learning about. Uh, so we've got an example here. A student decides to buy copies of Minecraft for his friends. He buys a total of three copies of Minecraft, and it costs $45. How much does each one, or how much does one copy cost? So um, let's say, for example, we let x equal um, uh, the cost of one copy. <laughs> So uh, we can set up an equation here, and if we read through uh, what we know or what's important, he buys a total of three copies of Minecraft, and it costs $45 total. That's kind of our key points. So um, three copies, well, if x is the cost of one copy, then three copies would be three times x, and I know that that's going to be equal to $45. Now we're going to learn more about solving algebraic equations a little bit later on, but just to give you an idea of how this might uh, might be done, if 3x is equal to 45, then what we can do is we can divide both sides of this equation by 3, and um, this cancels out, this 3 cancels out with this 3, and what I'm left with is x is equal to 45 divided by 3 is $15. Now, like I say, you're not going to be solving equations on this test, but that's a bit of a preview of how we would do it. So when we have one quantity equal to another, we have an equation. And uh, each quantity within that equation uh, may be a number or its own algebraic expression. So just for an example of what that might look like, it could be as simple as n is equal to 5, that's an equation. It could be more complicated like uh, 2n plus 1 is equal to uh, 7. Or it could be even more complicated, something like uh, 3n minus 1 equals 2n plus 3. Or something along those lines where each each part of your equation could be either a number or or an expression all on its own is essentially uh, is essentially held together by an equal sign and whatever you have on either side makes that an equation so in an equation the variable actually represents a specific unknown number And when we go ahead and find the value of that unknown number, it's called solving the equation. And solving the equation was something we're going to learn about a little bit later on in the year. So uh, what we need to be able to do right now is to be able to uh, create an equation from each of the following sentences. So what I'd, uh, I'd caution you to do is to read read the, the phrase, for example, three more than a number is 15. And uh, try and find the equal sign in that. So the equal sign is kind of right there. It's is. So uh, my equal sign I can actually start off with. And then uh, find your other two parts. So uh, for example, uh, three more than a number is really on this side of the equation. So three more than a number. If a number is n, then three more than that would be plus three. And then on the other side of your equation, uh, we've got what we've got is, well, is 15. So that's going to equal 15. You can kind of see where the parts line up. All right, another example here. Uh, we've got um, a number subtracted from 5 is 1. And again, is, that's really our, that's really our equal sign. So I'm going to just write my equal sign. Um, well, this is really easy. On this side, I've got is 1, so that's just going to be a 1 there. And on the other side, a number subtracted from 5. So a number subtracted from 5. That means 5, and I'm going to subtract from that a number. In this case, maybe I'll use x. All right, the next example. 8 added to 3 times a number is 26. So again, I'll, I'll key in on that is, because that gives me my, my, um, my equal sign, and I can kind of build around it. So that's my equal sign. Um, on this side of the equation, that's actually pretty easy. I'll do that first. So is 26, that's just going to be a 26. 
And then over here, I've got eight added to three times a number. So I've got eight, and I wanna add that to three times a number. So I'm gonna do uh, eight plus three n, three times a number. All right, a number divided by three is 10. So here's my equal sign. And on this side of my equal sign, I can see it is 10. So I just put a 10 here. Uh, a number divided by three. So maybe I'll use x, and that's divided by three. Okay, just a reminder that you can also represent this as x divided by three. Either of those are fine. We're gonna get used to this one right here that kind of looks more like a fraction. All right, two more examples. So five less than a number is seven. So here's my equal sign and it is seven on this side. Five less than a number. So five less than a number. We have to be careful here. And the reason we have to be careful, we've talked about this before, is that as soon as we see less than, as soon as we see a, uh, a subtraction, we have to be careful what that means. So five less than a number is actually going to be that number minus five, five less than a number. And the last one here is a little bit complicated. Six more than two times a number is equal to four times that same number. So I've actually got a pretty busy equation here. So here's my equal sign, six more than two times a number. So six more than is six plus two times a number, use x, two x, is equal to four times that same number. So four, and you have to be careful here, we're using the same unknown number, so I have to use the same variable, is four x. All right, that's it for 1.7. Uh, just finish off the recap and then you're done.